Today I'd like to show you the features of your Ladybug 2.0 software that will work with your document camera. If you open your Ladybug 2.0 software, you will see this menu when you put your mouse over the little Ladybug icon. You can put it there and move it around to wherever it's uh, the least in your way. And if, if you mouse over this, it will show you all the features. <clears throat> and so I'd like to just show you a few of those features. Whatever you have under your document camera will be projected here. You can make it full screen so that you have more area to work with. These are some of the features that you will see with your Ladybug software. This is a camera, so perhaps you would want to take a picture of what you're going to be working on today. You click on that. Once you click that and take a picture, you will find that picture in your documents. There is should be a Ladybug 2.0 folder and the pictures that are in here will be um, date and time stamped unless you change the name of it. So this is the picture that I just took a second ago. So you can go back and use those <clears throat> pictures later. This is a video, little video camera icon. If you click on this and click record, it will let you record whatever you're doing under your document camera. And to, to get rid of the record video icon, you would just click on that again. The next icon is a time lapse so that you can have this take pictures of something every, every so often depending on the time intervals that you set. Um, if you had a science experiment going on and you wanted to take a picture every hour throughout the night, something like that, that's where you would go to do that. This is a spotlight mode where you can have a spotlight so that you can just show your students a piece of whatever's under the document camera and you can change the the size and the shape of that um, spotlight. This is a screen shade so that you can go in and and um, again just show them parts of the image underneath. This is something that will let you freeze the image underneath the camera. It doesn't take a picture of it. It just lets you freeze it and then you can move the paper that's under there and you'll still see the image. And in order to get all your options back, you would go back here and click freeze again and unfreeze it. This software is you can use with in conjunction with your smart board. You can use the pens to write on the on the image underneath your document camera. Know that if you use your smart board pens and take a picture, it does not save the annotations. But if you use this little feature right here, the annotations within the um, Ladybug software, you can go in here, you can make lines, you can put shapes on there, things like that. You can go here and use your mouse and write. You can click here and put a text box and put text there. And here's where it puts your text. Um, any of these features here and if you have used this annotation tool, then when you take a picture of your annotations, those annotations will stay with your picture that you take. So I'm going to go here and show you a little preview of that and you can see here that it saved those annotations. Um, this is your zoom in and out feature. This is your brightness. You can lighten or darken your image. This is an options where you can set camera options. Uh, 
This turns the lamps on and off on your document camera. This just kind of auto tunes it and then this displays the live image. If you have a, if you have a picture like so let's say I've clicked on this picture and I'm showing it. If I want my live image back, that's what I would click to get my live image back. And then this will power your document camera on and off. So hopefully these features will be something that will make your document camera extremely useful to you.